Hey guys, down for world of Mr. Grey, and yes, this is me. You know, this is not some hermit who just come down and confiscated the camera. This is me, I've just got lazy. <laughs> I'm currently in the middle of making other videos at the moment, and I'm really tired tonight. Because <laughs> I hardly slept last night. But I thought I wanted to include part of a video I made a, a few months ago now. And it was about the Mandela Effect. Or what my theory of the Mandela Effect is. I'm going to include it in this video now. I liked my uh, explanation of what I think it, it is. I mean, it's pretty logical. But this was my explanation. And the reason why you might not have seen it back then is because it was about 25 minutes into another video I made of a different subject. Um, and I ramble. I talk a lot, as most of you know. And some of you might not have got the 25 minutes into the video. Some of you might have, I don't know, but so I thought I'd make, I'd splice it out, make a separate episode of what I said a couple of months back. Anyway, leave a like if you like this video and leave a sub to, to fuck me, I can't speak. Uh, leave a, leave a like if you like the video and leave a sub to my channel if you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I, guess I, I just can't speak. Anyway, right, go watch the video. Now, the second subject I'd like to talk to, hopefully it don't take too long to do it, is the Mandela Effect. Now, if you don't know what the Mandela Effect is, you should, well, you probably do because you, you probably watch a lot of the videos I watch. But the Mandela Effect um, first came around in 2010 and it was by a woman by Fiona something or Phoebe something. I can't remember. I did look it up, but I can't remember. Um, came out with saying she thought Nelson Mandela died in prison in 1989. I remember as a kid when it came up on the news, this guy, Nelson Mandela, I didn't know who he was back then. But... Um, but this guy, Nelson Mandela, was coming out of prison. And I, if I remember correctly as well, I was in... Where was I? I was in junior school. We had, we actually had, like, a sort of an assembly to commemorate Nelson Mandela. Com commemorate, is that the word? Or celebrate, sorry. <laughs> celebrate Nelson Mandela coming out from prison. I didn't know who that was. I was Obviously, as I got older, I found out all the, all the stuff, you know, the history of Nelson Mandela and obviously when he became, um, became the African president, the prime minister, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm going off. I'm going off on tangent. But yeah, so this woman back in 2010 said that she can't, she thought he died in prison. And then a few other, she put that online and then a few other people that started saying, yeah, I'm sure he died in prison. And that then... <laughs> And I don't know where this bloody theory came from. I don't feel it was from that woman or from someone else. But they came up with a theory that the people who thought Nelson Mandela died in prison are from an alternate reality. That's crazy talk. <laughs> now, don't, look, don't get me wrong about the science. The science the theory is that alternate realities do exist. I'm not denying that the theory of it. But, but yeah, she came up with... Um, the theory that they're from alternate realities. And then, as the years went on, more and more people started thinking, hang on. Oh, by the way, before we go further, I'm going to tell you a little history of how I found out the, uh, the Mandela Effect. I'd never heard of it until four years ago. I was in work. My mate, we shall call him the dangerous one. <laughs> but he he, um, he said to me, have you ever heard of the Mandela Effect? I thought, oh, what's that? And he told me about it, and then he told me about C-3PO from Star Wars. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, I haven't got around today, but I constantly wear different variant Star Wars t-shirts. I'm a big fan of Star Wars. I have been since I was a kid. But then he said to me, and this blew my mind at the time, he said to me, he said to me, what color is C-3PO's left leg? What was the right leg? I can't remember. I said, gold. Stupid. <laughs> he says, gold. He's, he's a gold, um, he's a gold android. And then he started showing me pictures of C-3PO's right leg. And it blew my mind. It's silver. This blew, blew my mind, this did, right? And I was like, what? No, it's definitely gold. It's 100% gold. I went through all the bloody old footage. I went there with it on my phone. I was showing him, look, it's bloody gold. And I look, shit, it's silver. I was going through all the old footage. Silver leg, silver leg, silver leg. This blew my mind. Absolutely blew my my little tiny brain. <laughs> this was about four, yeah, four or five years ago, I think I was. And then I started looking into the Mandela effect. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe all the stuff that people were uh, finding out from their childhood, which turned out when they're older wasn't the fact. And I'm like, ah, oh, this is this. There's no way this is. There's no way this is alternate reality stuff. 
So I started looking into it. And to me, this is why I thought a couple of years ago, and this is why I still think now. <laughs> it's just people misremembering. And the the general uh, th the general theory of what is going on with the Mandela effect is just we our brains are stupid at remembering things. It's as simple as that. And then I thought about the C3PO leg thing. I first saw the first Star Wars. It came out in 1978 or 79. And I first saw it on TV in 1984. I was a young little toddler. <laughs> I probably saw it in 1984 on TV. Obviously, that was my first experience of uh, C-3PO. When he, the very first scene you see him, he's walking with R2-D2 through the desert, travel in Tatooine, traveling to the um, uh, Jabba the Hutt. I think, yeah. But that's the very first scene you knew. So obviously, he's surrounded by sand. This is my theory of why I thought, or why a lot of people think he had a gold leg. He's surrounded by sand. So he's got a silver leg, reflective like a mirror. And obviously the first scene you see him in, in full body, he's covered, he's surrounded by yellow sand. So that is probably why he looked all gold. And then throughout the film then, you don't even think about it. So that's my theory why everyone, including myself, thought he had a gold leg. When he didn't, he had a silver leg. You just don't notice that as it goes on. And I think that's the same with like the other stuff. Like I said, the Berenstain Bears. I thought about this one, like, this wasn't around in my childhood, because I was mainly an American thing, the Berenstain. But a lot of people thought it was the Berenstain Bears. And as I was looking at it, you know, I was thinking about names, because apparently the authors of the Berenstain Bears, I think I'm getting it right, Berenstain, they, they, it's, the surname, their surnames are Berenstain. It's not a common surname. But what is common um, is... The surnames ending with Steen, like um, Goldstein, Bernstein, Berenstein. You know, so I think what happened with that one is as a kid, when kids were watching that back then, it was a lot easier to remember it or even say it as Berenstein. It was actually Berenstein. That's my theory on that one. And there's a lot of stuff like uh, Fruit of the Loom stuff. Um, I can't remember that, to be honest with you. <laughs> I never really paid much attention, but I think it's all down to mis misremembering something. And like I said, that when I um, when I first found out about C-3PO's leg, it blew my mind. Blew my mind. And for a split second, I thought, could it be true? Could the Mandela effect be true? And then I thought a bit further with my logical brain. Thought, no, I'm just stupid. <laughs> it's just my brain. But human brains are an amazing thing. Our brains are an amazing thing. They hold a lot of knowledge. But over the years, that knowledge dwindles. I know mine has from when I was a kid. There's things people say to me, you remember this as a kid? I no. And then they'll start saying and this, that. Oh, yeah, I remember. Completely forgot. So that's my theory on the Mandela effect. It's no alternate reality. It's just misremembering things because we are stupid and human. <laughs> and I have rambled for way too long tonight. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. That was my little Saturday night ramble. I'm going to try and do these ones off quite often. Other stuff ain't going to change, but I do like putting out my thoughts to you. Of, you know, what's rattling around in my little tiny brain. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about where I've, where we, I, where I, what I've talked about today. <laughs> and also, did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> you probably did. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a sub if you're new to this channel. I do uh, these kind of videos quite often. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.